13 Houston, uh, we'd like to disable quad C and D. Use Alpha and Bravo, over. Okay. Okay, 13, we got uh, Fredo on TV. Uh, Roger, Houston. What we plan to do for you today is turn out in the uh, spaceship or uh, Odyssey and take you on through from Odyssey uh, into the tunnel into Aquarius and show you a little bit of uh, the landing uh, vehicle. And uh, your TV operator is now resting on the center couch. Looking at uh, Fred Hayes, whose head is now just about at the beginning of the tunnel, and his back is against the Bay optical uh, area. And Fred will uh, now uh, transport himself into the tunnel and into the uh, spaceship Aquarius. You know, one thing I noted, uh, Nick, when I first came across there, that uh, starting uh, upright in the command module, and uh, heading down in Aquarius, uh, uh, there's a little bit of an orientation change that uh, he saw it been through it once uh, in the water tank. Uh, it's still pretty unusual. I find myself uh, now uh, standing with my head on the floor when I get down inside the limb. That's a great picture, Jim. Uh you got the light just right. Hey, one of the nice things, uh, Jack, uh, particularly for a novice like myself, is the uh, the ease of uh, moving around in here. And, uh, of course, as you know from working with the uh, command module simulator, it's really quite a boon to uh, have zero gravity as an aid. Uh, confining really at one key to move around very much in there, and it's uh, quite easy in this environment. Uh, the lamp, as you can see, it uh, looked pretty clean. I found a couple of loose washers, about it, and the uh, a little plastic cap off the uh, sequence camera had come loose, and I found it uh, lodged over by the uh, ED panel. Uh, right under uh, Jeff now, he's uh, actually standing on a uh, what looks to be a can here, and uh, for the sake of all the people back there, uh, housed inside this can is the, uh, the lab method engine, where uh, hopefully you can see my hand uh, resting on top of right now, the engine that uh, we use to get off of the moon. Immediately uh, adjacent to uh, the uh, engine cover here, I have my hand on a, a white box now, which uh, has been shown before. Uh, this uh, happens to be uh, Jim's uh, clip, or the backpack, which will uh, supply oxygen and uh, water for cooling while on the lunar surface. Uh, this uh, device uh, we hope to uh, make use of for uh, plan four hours and possibly up to as much as uh, five hours. Right uh, right behind the cliff, a uh, couple of square packages I now have my hand on here, one here and one right below, are our OPSs, which are in essence the emergency oxygen supplies, which are good for some uh, 40 to 45 minutes. These are we uh, get ready to uh, mount up and head outside, uh, we'll be placed up on top of the cliff. Uh, the second backpack is uh, mounted down on the uh, limb floor, uh, and we'll position uh, right between the, the two of us. I have 
my hand on it uh, at this time. Roger, Fred. We see it. Uh, the picture's coming through real good, and uh, your description is good. We see uh, Jim's got the camera oriented uh, the way we like to look at it. So we'll keep talking. Okay, I guess uh, everybody is uh, pretty much at the uh, space program. It's been uh, all uh, a lot of exotic electronics, and uh, certainly a lot of it is. But I uh, thought I'd bring out a couple items here uh, in conjunction with the flip. Uh, after the first DVA, uh, to get a very accurate measurement of the amount of water that's left in the places, so we're going to make use of uh, this bag I'm showing now to uh, collect the remaining water out of the place and see uh, just how much we really did have left. And uh, hopefully on uh, future missions to be uh, able to extend uh, safely uh, the allowable time on these units uh, even a little further. And uh, my other hand, I have the uh, mechanism by which we uh, determine just how much uh, water we really have in this bag. And I guess this, uh, an app description for this device would be a uh, fish scale. And uh, you can see I'm weighing myself right now, and uh, it says I weigh uh, actually less than zero right now. I guess it's calibration is too good. That'll be the day. I think even you would weigh zero here, Jack. Uh, here's the, uh, this is Jim, uh, since Fred's been in the, uh, lunar module, since he's the lunar module pilot, this is the first time that he's felt that he's right side up. Right, Jim. I might uh, tell you that we're looking at right now that round, uh, bag that's just behind Fred to hold our, uh, vacuum hose, and when we get back inside, the map will hook the vacuum off our suits, and it's resting, or it's attached to the hatch, which will, uh, we will open to uh, go on to the lunar surface, and of course we come back in. Uh, the hatch which we uh, have come through now is a round hatch, which is our docking hatch between the, uh, between Odyssey and the Aquarius. Roger, and uh, we see Fred looking in the vacuum cleaner there now. Okay, what I have out now, uh, Jack, is uh, uh, Leva, which has also uh, been shown before. It's a head garment uh, for wearing out on the surface. And I, I'm bringing Jim down here to show a couple of mods. Uh, one problem before is that uh, the cast of characters down on the surface uh, haven't been able to uh, be distinguished apart uh, very well. So uh, not only Jim's suit has the red stripes on it, uh, but as you can see, uh, his Leva also has a, uh, a red stripe. And uh, now you can see one other mod, too, here, Jack, which I hadn't really uh, seen myself before. Uh, I 
guests on uh, 12, uh, Pete Nell had uh, commented about the uh, commented about having trouble with sunlight in the eyes. So in our leave us, uh, they have uh, put on a new center section, uh, which you can pull down and use uh, sort of like a baseball cap. Okay, Jack, who's fixed up on leave us? How's the uh, detail on this one, Jack? Say again, Fred. Uh, can you see any detail on this picture now, or am I blocking out too much of the sunlight? That's affirmative. Uh, we got a good picture of the lever there, and uh, it's coming through loud and clear. Okay. Okay, uh, Jack, well, uh, Fred's putting away my uh, helmet. You're looking over into Fred's station now. Now, how's this picture? Is it okay before do I have to adjust it? Uh, we have a hunch that uh, the setting might be in peak, but we recommend uh, average on the AOC if you haven't got it there already. We're in average, Jack. Okay, and uh, we're getting a good picture of the LMP side with the uh, beta over there. Uh, what I'm uh, fishing out now, Jack, is another uh, new piece of hardware that uh, uh, we're taking along this time uh, as a result of some comments made on uh, uh, Apollo 12 flight. But uh, Fred is opening up. Is a drink bag that we place inside of our uh, neck ring uh, that uh, will allow us to drink while we're on the lunar surface. Uh, they, Pete and Al, did not have that in uh, Apollo 12, and they consequently got very thirsty. Uh, but we hope to alleviate that situation by having uh, our own little uh, bag of water, which, uh, with very little effort, we can uh, have a sip or two while we're looking around and uh, doing our geology work. So, uh, if you hear any funny noises, uh, it's just uh, probably the drink bag. Fred, uh, Now looking through our optical device, uh, it's an instrument in which to uh, align our platform. And uh, Fred is now looking into it uh, just to see uh, what kind of an outside picture he might be able to get. We might be able to use a TV camera to uh, 
Look through our optical instrument to the outside of the command module. A few minutes ago, while we first came in, we did manage to uh, look to the outside of the of the side hatch of the command module to our uh, optical instrument. Stand by. We'll try and see what we can do here. Roger, Jim. Break, uh, Jack. We'd like you to stay in the uh, dead band you're now in, and uh, we'll make a change when the uh, TV is over. Another thing we'd like you to do is check your uh, pitch and yaw on your high gain meter so we can compare it with what we're seeing down here. Okay, it's showing about uh, say 28 degrees and 267. 20 and 267. 